Good morning. Steve here with RV Site to Site. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, today is going to be another how-to video. I'll do several of those along the way, so please take the time to subscribe and uh, like this video if you would please. Uh, make sure that you hit the notification bell uh, if you would like to be notified of upcoming uh, videos. And so uh, we're going to try to do our very best to show you videos about uh, campgrounds, state parks, uh, private campgrounds, Passport America places, uh, and various things around those campgrounds. So uh, I hope that you will enjoy uh, the videos. Now, today, as Mr. Rogers would say, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. However, Mr. Rogers would not say, Houston, we have a problem. <music> How many of you have had trouble with your sewer hose for your RV? Well, most of us have had a lot of trouble trying to figure out where to store it. And mine actually came with a tube, but I found on several different occasions that I needed quite a bit of sewer hose. On one occasion, I had to use three sewer hoses to reach the dump tank, the way the situation was set up. And so today we're going to talk about uh, the sewer hose and what to do in that situation. Um, I have a reflection, it's about a grand design, uh, 297 RSTS. And frankly, the storage space is not what I would really like. It's uh, kind of limited, but it's done really well so far. But one of the big, one of the big problems I have is where in the world to put the extra sewer hose. So today I'm gonna to tackle that. Uh, right here I'm gonna show you what we've normally tried to do uh, with the sewer hose and it's just not working. And, and this right here is where we normally store our sewer hose. I'm not crazy about this. I've had this in another container uh, one reason I don't like it is because it doesn't quite go all the way down. It's tight. It takes up a lot of space because I have another big container that goes in here. And I'm trying to get rid of some of these big containers. And so what I'm going to have to do is come up with a solution uh, to store my sewer hose. As you can see, it's, it's not heavy. It just takes up a lot of space. And I just don't have that extra space that I want to get rid of in my storage compartment. And so uh, I think I've come up with a solution. Now, obviously, the first thing we want to do is get our rubber gloves. Um, I buy these on uh, Amazon. I'll put a link below to that. Uh, these are very tough. Uh, these uh, are in my size. This is uh, large. Are very large anyhow uh, they fit my hand very well these are very tough and so uh, anytime we're handling sewer stuff or sewer hoses or anything like that uh, we always put on our gloves for safety and I have big hands that's okay they've served me well for many years all right so now got on my gloves let's get to work all right, when we bought the RV, it came with this little storage compartment here. And the uh, owner had this in here. And so this is fine, but this tube doesn't go back very far. And it definitely won't hold another hose and uh, or even two. And so uh, we went to Camping World. And I know some of you don't like Camping World, but at the time it just happened to be the most reasonable there, but uh, I'll put a link to the Amazon uh, thing on because it's not on sale right now. And uh, Amazon has it at a very good price. I bought this hose here. 
This is adjustable, easy hose carrier. It adjusts from uh, 50 inches to 94 inches. And uh, it uh, has all kinds of stuff in here. I got the black one so it wouldn't be as real obvious on the RV. It says it's easily adjustable, adapts to the best mounting location and hose size. And it says that the brackets and the mounting screws are already included. And uh, so it has a vented quarter turn twist on the cap uh, with a rubber strap. And so uh, you can add a padlock if you want, if you're afraid someone's going to steal a sewer hose. Uh, anyone who steals a sewer, sewer hose are in pretty bad shape. And you're probably in the wrong campground. So let's see what this looks like. Oops, they went the instructions. Usually don't need those. Okay. All right, so here we go. It has uh, a place right here where you can mount this. I'm not sure how we'll use this. I've got to be very careful screwing underneath the RV uh, because of the, I have four tanks on here and I definitely don't want to punch a hole in any of them. So this will hold my two extra hoses and uh, let's get started. All right, let's extend this out. Let's extend this out and see what we have. That, I think that'll probably do it. We'll set it under here. All right, I'm not gonna show you how to do this because I'm a big guy and it's not a pretty sight when I move from here over to here. But uh, suffice it to say, it's not a very pretty sight. And, uh, but I'm gonna move from here over to that creeper. Then I'm gonna roll under here and fasten this piece up to the bottom of the uh, flange here. And I think it's gonna be a fairly easy process and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, because this metal is thin, I'm on the other side of the uh, RV right now. And this metal flange goes here. It's fairly thick, probably 040 aluminum, maybe at the most, maybe even 032, probably 032. All right, and so what I've done, I've cut one piece like this. So I wanna add some extra support. This is just a piece of uh, vinyl stuff. It's very, very tough, uh, but yet strong. And so I'm gonna cut uh, another piece the same length. This is what I, I measured to be that I needed. And so I'm gonna just start right here and uh, cut this. Now, because this little bracket that goes in the middle here is the same whole distance as this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and drill pilot holes uh, with a small bit. I'm gonna use this bit here to drill holes, pilot holes in this and right here uh, before I actually use the screws. There are, there are a few more obstructions under here. Uh, that's not leaking poop there, that's actually a uh, I call it great stuff. It's just a different color. I wish they'd change the color of that. Ivory or beige would have looked a whole lot better. That looks like a bad day for somebody. I'll put this like this. Let's see if we can hit those holes. Here's the pipe. Just up to here like this. So what I'm gonna do pre-drill it. going to work really well.
Okay, there's two hoses in there that fits very well. And I'll just slip this cap back on. Alright, there you go. Now, I can use just a small box for this right here and won't take up near as much space in my uh, RV storage. So, that does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If this video helped you, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. It helps out. Uh, press the notification bell if you would like to be reminded of new videos. And so until the next time, I'll see you on the road. Bye-bye. It also has a place here, right there, where you can lock it. You just twist it and run a lock there. But if somebody really wants a sewer hose bad enough, they can, um, I think, cut this off. If, you want, if you're want, if afraid someone's going to steal a sewer hose, uh, anyone steals a sewer, sewer hose are in pretty bad shape. And you're probably on the wrong campground.